3720, 3721, 3722. Scott, Scott, the show. Oh, right. Today we're building gold coins. 3720. Alex! Sorry, God. Materials for this prop include cardboard, a bottle top, cardstock, double stick tape, aluminum tape, scissors, an X Acto blade, black matte spray paint, gold spray paint, and a pen or pencil. Using the bottle top, trace the number of coins you want onto the cardboard and cut them out. Cut a square of the aluminum tape as large as your coin and wrap one side with it. Cut a second square of aluminum tape and this time cut away the excess so that you're left with a circle. Tape it down on the cardboard side of the coin so you have a smooth surface on each side. And now it's time to move outside. Always be safe when handling spray paint, use goggles and masks at all times. Paint both sides of your coin gold. Back inside, trace the coin onto your piece of cardstock and cut out the circle. Draw your design on the cardstock and use the X-Acto blade to cut it out. This will create a stencil. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. Be sure to cut the lines wide as the paint will need to get through them. Use the scissors for any additional cuts. Tape the stencil onto the coin using the double stick tape. Be sure the tape is not covering any portion of the coin that you want to paint. And now it's time to move outside. Again, paint the stencil covered coin black. You'll need to switch the stencil to the other side or make two stencils for the whole coin. Back inside, remove the stencil and there's your finished gold doubloon. This is a great method for individual coins or half a dozen, but if I need large amounts of coins, I'll generally go to the store, buy plastic poker chips, and spray paint them gold. Thanks for joining me on the Prop Master's Handbook. See you next time. Paint the, paint the stencil covered coin black. Man, that's a mouthful.